Hi, my friend I and welcome back to my channel. My name's Caitlin Anwen for anyone who's new here and let's get back into Snowy Escape. And we are back with Izumi and Yuki on a lovely Tuesday morning. Izumi is watching some romance. Oh, was that Roaring Heights? I don't know, I didn't play any of the old games. <gasps> And Yugi, oh, she's feeling flirty because of the romance. Yugi's just finished her homework. Well done. She was feeling kind of sad because she still got that sentiment uh, with her mum because her mum didn't bless her at the festival. She was too busy flirting with her new boyfriend. <laughs> Oops. But Yugi was really enjoying searching for those uh, void critters. So. Okay, so let's have a look at her uniform. This is a game. Is she gonna come home in the same uniform? <laughs> I hate, I hate that they added something that like adds that little extra, like real life detail, and then they just screw it up by not even keeping the same uniform for the day. Never mind for the school. Oh, she's almost slipping. But there we go. She's gone to school. <laughs> and Izumi. You need to work on your aspiration. Oh wow, look at her climb. Look at her go. So we're gonna have a watch of her working on her skill. I wish I knew what mode she needed to be in to uh, gain skill faster, but I think she'll do okay. I've got her to do a breaking point climb. And this just looks cool, doesn't it? I love it. By the time I post this, we might have a new trailer, new pack trailer released. And it looks like we're gonna get like a spooky pack. I don't know. There's these little green glowy ghosty looking things <laughs> and a lady. So we might be getting like a ghost hunting stuff pack. Obviously I record this before I post it. <laughs> uh, I always like like to pre-record a little bit so I don't know anything about the pack yet. I don't know about that pack though. I quite like my realistic Let's Plays. Like this has been really fun for me. Like this is totally realistic. People learn to uh, rock climb and stuff and climb mountains all the time. But like ghost hunting, I don't know. I don't fancy my, my sims being like a Ghostbusters. Oh, she was really happy about that climb though. Azumi's got loads of lifestyles now from working on her rock climbing. Let's check out her lifestyle. So she's got the energetic lifestyle, the close-knit, outdoorsy, single and loving it, which I'm kind of not happy about, uh, adrenaline seeker, and oh she's in progress for workaholic but she quit so that one should go i assume but yeah the adrenaline seeker and energetic is really helping her with that rock climbing that's how she's gained so much skill i'm hoping nine level nine is like good enough how is she only on nine percent oh i don't know we'll have to work on that i would have liked her to complete that today but she is getting a little hungry you need to unequip your climbing gear and she's super hungry and I'm guessing Yuki is too. Is she hungry at all? Yeah. Why don't we go to the cafe with Shin and Sora? Right, so we've gone to the Yamachan Cafe and even though they're hungry, they're going to sit down and chat together first. Yuki's still feeling super sad. I actually want her to introduce herself to Shin, which is kind of awkward. And Izumi's going to talk to Sora. Sora, do not leave the table. There we go. No one actually wants to sit at the table because that is just the Sims, isn't it? But yeah, we're gonna just say that the girls are gonna be told that uh, Shin and Izumi are together now and it's not like we actually want to replace their parents. We don't know about uh, Sora's mom. Oh, 
Oh, great. And just like a, a stranger sat at our table. That's fine. Let's just give up. <laughs> this is chaos. <laughs> of course it is. Of course we get a celebrity in. So she's going to be mean to Shin and yell at him and say, you can't, you're not my real dad. You can't replace my dad. How dare you take all the attention uh, away from me and mom's not listening to me anymore while Azumi's not there. And Azumi's going to, she's obviously eating her cannoli, but she's going to tell uh, Yuki off. But she's going to do it calmly. Ask not to be mean. Be like, no, Yuki. <laughs> so Shin's come over and told Izumi that Yuki's kind of lost her temper a little bit. She thinks that I'm replacing her dad. Uh, so Izumi's going to come over and be like, hey, you, you can't lose your temper like that. She's going to say it calmly, but... <laughs> what is going on here? She's going to say it calmly, but she's not too happy with Yuki turning off Shin. And now Yuki is going to be mad at Shin and definitely mad at Sora. So she's going to be mean to Sora now as well. They're just going to sit outside and argue with each other. And Azumi's gone to talk to Shin and be like, oh, I'm so sorry. This didn't go well. I don't know uh, what to do with the girls. They seemed like they were getting to know each other a little bit better and uh, getting along a lot more, but now they're really not happy and I'm not sure what to do. These pair are still arguing so much. Oh no. So she's going to say that you need to learn to say sorry now. Like, this is not okay. You shouldn't have been arguing with... Oh, I think it worked. Yeah, you shouldn't have been arguing with Sora. It's not Sora's fault. You should have just come to talk to me if you were confused at all. But this is not how you should act, especially in a public place like this is not okay so we have to go home now so yuki has woken up rather tense i guess she's oh just realized that what she did last night so i'm gonna get her to use the bathroom and take a little bit of a bath this morning before school if she can she's not happy with mom because obviously mom gave her a little bit of a talking to yesterday and yeah she sort of realized that she's not uh in the best position and in a different school outfit again not good at all yuki i think you need to think about what you did yesterday you totally ruined the day for everyone how can she change outfits as soon as she what what uh give up i think i might have a go at some snowboarding today instead why not so why don't we can we go up this <gasps> ludicrous wow there's a ludicrous one yes let's try it one time oh let's see how she does oh wow Whoa, where does this one go? <gasps> Whoa! Oh my goodness, what the heck? Ah! Oh, she did fall. Let's go again. Uh, let's try high intensity this time, why not? Even though she didn't really do all that well at it, but I kind of want to see more of this ludicrous. Oh, she's feeling confident now. Adrenaline, adrenaline induced confidence. Let's go, Azumi. I still don't quite know the slope, but whoa, this is so fast. How is she doing it? <gasps> what the heck? Oh my god, look at those tricks. 
She might still fall at the bottom. Yeah. That is ridiculous. Maybe we should buy a simi capsule for Yuki. See if she's feeling a little bit better after school and get her a little gift while we're out on the slopes so we can give one to Yuki. And I haven't really used the vending machines all that much. Oh, well, it gave it to us straight away. That's good. Oh, and Yuki is invited over a classmate. I think Izumi's going to be like, you can't bring over friends if you're being mean to Sora. So she's going to say, I'm sorry, but Nanami can't come over. You've been mean to Sora and she's still feeling super duper tense. She's feeling a little bit better from that bubble bath, but she's in desperate need for fun. And Izumi's just not really sure <laughs> whether Yuki should be having all too much fun because she should be grounded at the moment from being so mean to Sora and being rude to Shin. I don't think Azumi's really gonna allow Yugi to be on the computer. Like, I think no screen time for her. I think ah, Azumi still wants to encourage Yugi to go outside and be active, even though she's grounded. So I think we're gonna get those two to go and let's form a group uh, to go onto the little bunny slopes and Yugi is going to ski. Right, hopefully we're further enough away now that I can keep track of it. Go Yugi, go. She's not doing too bad. Oh, nope, she fell. Oh dear. But at least she's trying. And she's feeling a little bit more playful now. I don't know how her fun's not gone up at all with that. Surely skiing is fun. It's not fun for me, but surely it's fun for someone. Go on, Yugi. <gasps> Tree. Oh, she did a jump. Wow. She still fell. <laughs> oh, dear. So I think after them falling over a few times... They might need to have a little chill out in the hot springs. They're gonna have a teeny bit of a chat. Just ask how Yugi's feeling now, because obviously they weren't having the greatest of times yesterday. Yugi's still a little feeling a little sensitive and a little bit uh, disappointed because she thinks mom doesn't want to give her any attention anymore and she's feeling a bit left out. She feels like Sora, li she likes Sora more, and she likes Shin more, and Yugi just doesn't want to be the problem child, basically. And Izumi's just gonna to explain to her that like, obviously she still loves Yugi exactly the same as she did before her and Shin got together, and Shin's not gonna replace uh, Yugi's dad, and Shin's not going to be exactly the same as Yuki's dad because obviously Yuki's dad hasn't really been in the picture all that much but yeah I think they're getting along a little bit better and Yuki's feeling a little bit better now that she's had a nice chat with mom and she spent just a nice day together working on, on her skiing skill. Yuki wants to be good at skiing and stuff she's a very active child so They've had a nice time together. So yeah, that was a very eventful episode, wasn't it? I can't believe Yugi got so mad at Shin and Sora. Like she already didn't like Sora at all, but knowing that it was like, she just thought Shin was taking all the attention away from her, like taking her mom's attention away from her. And that's why her mom, didn't bless her at the festival it was all Shin's fault she was just really mad at like everyone because she just didn't understand and now Izumi's taken the time to just have a one-on-one -on -one chat with her she's feeling a little bit better she doesn't blame Shin for everything she's an only child and she kind of got used to just it being her and her mom so she got a little bit mad about that but I can't <laughs> 
I don't think her and Sora's ever gonna get along. I'm very, very concerned about that, but there we go. So yeah, that's gonna be my goal for next week is working on a rock climbing skill and getting her up to be able to reach the peak of Mount Komarebi. So if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. And if you haven't already and you would like to, it would mean a lot to me if you could subscribe and hit the bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video. I upload on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Goodbye.